So today we've got a question from Julie down in Devon and uh, she's asked about salinity. You know, what should we run at and how accurate do you need to keep it? So first of all, you'll notice when you look through your refractometer that there will be on the left hand side there will be SG which will move from our 1.000 up to about 1.030. If you find your refractometer is reading to above that, like it goes all the way up to 1050, then it's actually one for cooking or motor oil and it's not one for a marine aquarium. So get a different one. We use the D&D ones, very good, recommend them. Um, but rather than use that chart, use the chart on the right, which is PPT or um, milligrams a litre. Now on that, it's much simpler to use, it's less affected by temperature and it's a more accurate system. So on that, natural seawater will be about 35 milligrams a litre, or 35 ppt, which is parts per thousand. So in every thousand mils of water, there's 35 grams of salt. It's a very simple uh, way of looking at it. So that makes it a lot easier if you have to do any corrections, because if you know that if it's 34 grams a litre and you want to go up by one, you need to add one gram of salt per litre of water. So it makes it a lot easier when you're mixing salt, which we'll cover in one of our other videos. So the idea, the C is 35 ppt, but running above that is far more dangerous than running below it. So normally we'd say aim for 34, and ensure at all times it's between 34 and 34 and a half. And that is the maximum swing that you ever want to have on your tank. The more stable you can keep it, and the closer to that 34 line, the better. The better results you're going to have, the less nitrates and phosphates you're going to have, because the bacteria will work more efficiently less algae problems you're going to have, you're going to get better responses from your corals and better growth on your fish by keeping a nice consistent level. So aim at 34 and make sure that you correct that salinity before it reaches 34 and a half, no more than that, and that when you're correcting it you're not dropping it down below 34 either. So to keep it within that very narrow range and you're going to get much better results. Bear in mind a swing of 2 or 3 degrees upwards be particularly dangerous and might even kill inverts and things. Levels 36, 37, 38 can be enough to start killing inverts. 39, 40 can start foreshortening the life of fish. If you start going above 40, that can start taking fish out. So it's very important that you keep it very stable. Um, being lower than that is less dangerous, but even so, you want to keep it about 34. Um, you'll see some people run a little lower on a fish system, they run around 32. I wouldn't go too far below 30 as the absolute limit on a fish only system, but even then, keep it nice and stable. If you are running at 30, keep it at 30 to 30 and a half. Don't let it swing a couple of degrees all over the place. Keeping control of your salinity is one of the most critical things to running a successful marine tank. Temperature and salinity are the two most important parameters, and we cover temperature in one of our other videos as well. So check that out and make sure that you've got to grips with temperature and salinity to get them stable and at the correct levels before you worry about any other parameters because if those alter they will have knock-on effects on the other ones anyway.